Alright, so I'm doing the restoration on um, the Hamburglar. We did a mail time Monday over there. His beautiful clothes are all sprayed out over there. And so, I have to clean him up. I just did. We finished it up. And he looks so much better from the video. We cleaned up his hat. No cobwebs or anything. And like, if you can look, I don't know if you can see it. Like, it's all shiny now. Because I went over it with that rag. Clean him out. Clean out all the eyes. Smile. And he looks brand spanking new. Uh oh. Okay. Now, what I gotta do is work on his glove. Now, the glove is like this. But, because it's old and things fall apart, the strings came out of his hand. Because I want this to look exactly the same as the old ones did. So, I'm taking a piece of paper, I just cut out of that one, lay it on this one, under this, cut it around it. You can see, like, and try to match it up with this one, because these are the same hands, I think. I hope. So, yeah. And then, probably sometime this week, I'm going to try to get the clothes cleaned, so I'm going to keep those off of him. Well, actually, I'm going to try not to, because I'm going to put these right back on him, maybe, because I want this to be clean. Like, like I'm, I'm tempting not to wash them because they're vintage, and maybe could fall apart, if I, because you got to hand wash these. I think they could take a while to dry. And I don't want these to get ruined or anything, so, yeah. I just want these to look brand new. And not, like, smelling old. Because I can't wash the doll. The doll needs to just stay out. And so I cleaned his, cleaned him as much as I can. And, and the body looks great because it's been underneath the clothes. Also, this is his little pin date thing on the back of his neck. I love the way the hair looks like... This looks so cool. You know it's a little creepy. Like it could haunt you and all that crap, but still, I think it's a good doll. Like with Ronald. And it's gonna be perfect for an episode of Cooking with Chef Noodle. So this is the restoration of the hamburger. Cause he needs a little bit of a tune up. So I don't know if this is gonna be on the main channel or the second channel. I'll just I'll decide. You'll know when because it'll be on either channel, so I might put it on the main. Just, just to give you a little behind the scenes of how I fix some of the old things I get. Like, um, Spin. I didn't show him, but I actually fixed up some of him. Like, that I gotta fix up soon because he needs to get fixed. Up. One leg's almost, like, kind of ripping because of its thin lining. And one of the Velcro straps are falling off, so I have to glue that back on with hot glue. Can't use sewing glue because I would rip right through it and I don't want to ruin it. Hot glue works best. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I have the Hamburglar washed up, or when I have his glove done. So, see you guys in that next video. Sorry, I had a weird look. Oh my god. Alrighty, so, finished up working on Hamburglar. And what I did was, like I showed in the first clip, I just drew, I had that square piece of paper. The remains of it, and I just traced out his glove just to see where the string was, and I brought it over here, and I got it done. That's not exactly like that one. See, that's more like looking like the glove. So then this one looks. Oh, I got text. This looks more like a glove. That looks better, I think. And I won't touch either gloves. It, like whichever one works good will work. I just want him to look like he had fingers again. Because I might just cut those and tighten those up too, just to make him look like he had fingers. Because these look good. It's the thumb that's bothering me because it's a little defiliated than this one. But that's because of age. Alrighty, so. The, well, the restoration's good on his hand. I'm just trying to look at anywhere else to see if he has any tears. I might sew up this little part here so his head doesn't pop right off. Just like Mr. Boom Howard or Ronald. Or Woody have done to me in the past. Well, Ronald hasn't, and Woody hasn't, but Boomhouse has in the past, and it's been a pain. He's very old, so yeah. So yeah. There's that done. Now we're gonna air out his clothes. I'll come back to you when I have that done. Alrighty, everyone. Here is the finished character.
Now, sadly, we could not wash the body. That kind of makes me upset. But, in reality, he looks great. I'm going to prop him up a little bit more. There we go. If you saw in the last bit, I fixed up his hands. You can tell which one is this one. But I might cut these strings. That one I fixed. This one I might cut and just make the other hand because they didn't sew that good back in the day. And good these days are so good. Those look like fingers. I gave him a nice wash up on the face. We didn't wash the clothes. Yeah, because my mother is very busy with work and all that. But he will get washed. I am swearing and betting on God that we will get these clothes washed. You can't wash the hat. Took a rag, cleaned it up as best as I can. It looks pretty good. I might show on my shelf. It looks good. It looks great. I actually put a pin on the back of his tie so it wouldn't flap down. It looks good. It looks very good. I love the tie out of everything other than the cape and the hat. I wish this came off. And actually, like, they did something so he could just, like, wear it. Like Velcro. Just if you needed to clean it. So we got Ronald here. I just want to show off Ronald because we actually had to fix Ronald up too. We may be calling you this because sadly on our little vacation, while I was kind of, like, trying to clean up Ronald just a little bit because he had a little bit dirt of everywhere, I had to fix up his hand. I think it's his hand. I don't know. Let me check. Yep. It's this one, you can clearly see, come on folks, there's white thread in between these two fingers. Yep. I think it's that hand. Let me check the other one. Yeah, it was this one. Because the string was like come, coming off, and so I had to sit so much. But any other than that, that looks pretty good. So yeah, out of my collection of, Ronald, of McDonald's toys, these are the only two. I'm going to try to find Birdie. And I'm trying to find Grimace. Right now, I did find them. Just did a little bit of expense. Here. But I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to get these two. So yeah. Right now, it's going good. And if I can, I might get Roger Rabbit. And I, if he needs to fix up, I'll fix him up too. You guys go check out the old Instagram. There's a picture I posted up there. If you want to help out to get Roger Rabbit plush here, you can maybe help out if you want. Not saying you have to. Just if you're a big fan of the channel, if you want Roger Rabbit to be in this channel and featured, I will use him in, in a lot of videos. So, yeah, I just wanted to say, and this is the final like look of Mr. Mr. Burglar, Mr. Hamburglar. He will be in a future video. Don't you worry with Ronald too. So, so yeah, and I love these plush. I do like hamburger, but I like Ronald more because I like, like I love the doll and how it looks because that's how I want Ronald McDonald to look, and that looks perfect. And I love the yarn hair and just Ronald's my favorite out of like the whole group, other than hamburger, hamburger because he shake it because I used to love this character. <sighs> oh 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 oh! There he went. Well. Well guys, I do hope you did enjoy this video, and don't worry, there will be a video coming soon with these two. Maybe including Chef Noodle. Maybe Ronald will help Chef Noodle make a, make a whole McDonald's food dish. And burglar steals it. That could be the, maybe the next episode of Cooking with Chef Noodle. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, at least hit that like button to let me know you guys do enjoy me fixing up old toys, because if you guys want me to, I can totally do a whole series dedicated to when I get new. When I have to, I can fix up old plushes, because sometimes, because of this series, a lot of plushes do get injured, and I do have to fix them sometimes. So yeah, let me know. And I totally will make a whole series dedicated to, just to that, and I... Just to fix these guys up so they look brand new and ever, as ever. So yeah, I'll take a look around in the old toy set if this video gets to at least to seven to five likes. I'll tell you to do another episode if I can, because right, um, maybe tomorrow I might be going to Goodwill and we might find some new characters and maybe if I have to, I'll fix them up, make them look good as new. Because that's something that's sad to me. That a toy like this, this good, sadly in bad condition. We got this on, my father got this for me on eBay. And just, I wish, and like I know some toys can't get kept good in condition. 
at least at least keep some of the things from our childhood in good condition. Thank God I bought Ronald because these are hard to find. Well, on e eBay you can find a lot of these, but in these kind of good condition, the woman I bought this from, and my father bought too, said you can't find these in these kind of good condition. And Ronald kind of sadly has been there for a while. So I'm happy I got Ronald. I love him to death, and I will love him and cherish him forever. So yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this lovely episode of, well, I kind of want to call it Fix It Felix, but Fix It, eh, some, I'll come up with the title for a playlist if I can. If we get, at least when we get to a second episode, I'll do a playlist. But, yeah. So thank you all for watching this video. If you didn't like it, just fucking punch the like button. And if you like it, subscribe, bro. And I it's all around. <laughs> and if you haven't already, Please subscribe today, become another member of the Royal Rose Army today. And as always, and really as always, I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you on a great night. Fra -fra!